So every computer breaks down into two specific portions. We've got first hardware. And one of the interesting things about computer science is we care about hardware, but not massively. Uh, you see, uh, I can program on any computer. I can program uh, anything on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, so that actually doesn't technically matter for me. Uh, but what we focus in on is a lot more of the software, the programs, the applications. Uh, and the reason why is because this is going to be the more technical side of things. And this is going to be the uh, algorithmic side of things. And we'll get into algorithms in just a little bit. But now that we're saying that we're talking about software, we're not really caring about the hardware anymore, we have to talk about data. You see, if we think about a computer for a second, this is a very, 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 very crude computer. Uh, you see, it has one switch on and off. If I give it a little power, nothing happens. But the second I flip the switch, ah, look at that. Nice little light has come on and may be a little difficult to see. But I turn it off, that light goes off. Well, we expanded on this idea. This is actually where logic comes in. Something is or it is not. Uh, this is where the basis of binary numbers comes into play. Ones or zeros. Do I have electricity or do I not have electricity? And so all of a sudden, what we can start to think about is that LED light. Well, one of those lights has only two states. It's either off, which we can consider to be a zero, or it's on, which we can consider all of a sudden to be a one. All right, well that's just with one bit, that's one light bulb. But what happens if I start to get multiple light bulbs going on here? Well, let's think about two light bulbs. Now how many states do I have? Well, I have both of them being off. I've got one of them being on. I've got the other one being on. And then finally, I've got them both being on. So what happened is this actually doubled. I went from having only two states to four states. So what would happen if I went with eight light bulbs? Now, I didn't make the animation for eight light bulbs, but all of a sudden, what would happen is I would suddenly go from two states to four states. And then when I get to a third light bulb, I'd get eight states continue with that four, sta four light bulbs, I'm now at 16, 32, 64, eventually I get to 256 possible combinations of ones and zeros.